If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Photon Store is the best place to get PCGO codes online with instant email delivery. They already have Darkness Ablaze available in bundles of 50 codes, single codes, and the pre release promo box. What are you waiting for? Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase when you're checking out. Millibotsgaming.com is the best place for you to find all the Darkness Ablaze singles you might need for your upcoming decks. Any Eternatus, anything you need. Make sure you get it at Millibots Gaming, and when you're checking out, make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Tableman. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I am playing in the Pokex Online Regional Tournament today. However, my opponent for the first round did not show up, so what better time to show this, as Trainer Chip would call it, Moist Mewtwo deck. Um, it is based on Mewtwo GX, of course, and utilizing the Perfection ability in order to copy Blastoise GX's Rocket Splash attack, which does unlimited damage. Rocket Splash does 60 damage for every water energy uh, that you return attached to your Pokemon into the deck. So the whole idea behind this deck is to attach a bunch of energies with Frostmoth um, and its ability Ice Dance onto your benched water Pokemon, namely Frostmoth and or Keldeo, and then you get to return them into the deck and do a bunch of damage with Mewtwo. Now, we are playing um, the four buckets, we are playing um, Brigand Forest, we're not playing any sort of energy recovery, which I am not a big, big fan of. However, we do have Starmie GX's Star Stream attack, which does 40 damage, and you may attach two water energy guards from your discard ball to one of your Pokemon. Therefore, we do have some form of energy recovery, but I'm not so sure how effective that will actually be. I would love to have um, a few energy retrievals here, and I don't know, like I don't want to make too many changes, but um, let's just jump into a ladder, see what we can do with this interesting deck. Because, and because this is uh, 60 minute wait times um, per round, since this is like a regional tournament or 50 minutes, I guess, per round, um, there will be a lot of downtime, unfortunately, but that's okay. And hello, Rala22, thanks so much for being here, Bernard Droid, Alex. Jivelic, the only term. Um, if you'd like to see the list that I'm using in today's tournament, you can type exclamation mark list and you'll be redirected to my Twitter post, which um, contains my list. So we get a pretty potentially nice turn one hand, except we mulligan. <laughs> And all right, I mean, we can set up Snom, we have our Mewtwo, and we can even start like applying pressure through Starmie, GX's attack. And by applying pressure, I mean just getting energy into play because 40 damage isn't really pressure, um, but that's okay. Yeah, that is okay. We have a pretty solid hand, I'd say. Pretty, pretty solid hand. And we're up against Eternatus, and for some reason my opponent chose to start Sixagon. I am very surprised at that. Um, so yeah, like this deck on paper seems cool. Uh, we do have Keldir GX to punish a big bench from Eternatus, so we'll see if we can actually do that. Top of the game boss, not a very impressive card to get. We do have Starmie, we do have Keldil, which is pretty cool. Uh, we did prize two waters. We did prize two waters, which is never fun. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna quick ball for my Snum. Hopefully it doesn't get picked up by six seconds. And I'll go ahead and play this. I'll go ahead and discard an energy. Grab another energy, and I will not, I repeat, I will not attach. 
I want that. I want to maximize the amount of energies that I can actually um, attach and or discard. So I'll go ahead and attach here. And then, so what I could do is, okay, I'm gonna do herbal on this nom. I'm gonna crowbat? Do I need the switch? I don't think I'll be needing the switch, honestly. And I do want to be like, okay, opponent, are you gonna overextend and get a full bench going against my Mewtwo? Well, I'll be able to punish that with Keldeo GX. And I do have energy switches, so we'll go ahead and Hydro Pump. Definitely not Hydro Pump. Why can I use Hydro Pump? Oh, that's the GX attack. Okay, so we'll go ahead and star stream. And I'll attach, honestly, both energies to the Mewtwo. And we'll see what happens. No, we'll see what happens. You lost to this last night, Alex? You lost to this with Pikachu, really? Okay, black market gets played. That's definitely annoying. That is actually very annoying. That means only two prices off of this Eternatus rather than three. My opponent is playing Garbodor in his Eternatus deck. You really don't want to do that. That is a bad play. There we see the quick wall. So we are 1-0 in uh, the online tournament. My opponent didn't even bother showing up. So we had a no-show. Does find the full bench and everything. Okay, so imagine if I had a Frostmoth here. My opponent would be heavily punished for over benching. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and attach here. And then I'm pretty sure I just research. It's really sad that I'm gonna lose my boss and my Elder Gods, but oh well. Oh well. Um, okay. So I do have the option. I do have the option to um, dead it change away this hand, which I definitely think I will take. I'll keep these other Frostmoth in the deck just in case I lose my Frostmoth. I do want to dead it change. Um, I could attach these energies, and I should. So I'm gonna take a price on this six again, and then as long as I can eventually counter the stadium, I should be fine. I really should be fine. And I have the counter stadium already. So I'll use it because I don't care about any other stadium that my opponent plays. All I really want is, um, all I really want, oh, I shouldn't have used that. All I really want is, um, to just apply pressure and make sure that black market is never in play. Yeah, that's the idea. The black market is never ever in play. All right. Okay, so can we beat Eternatus with this deck? That is a question, and I believe we will be able to. Well, actually, no, never mind. Well, it's gonna come down to boss, as usual, right? So I guess what I should have done is taken a prize with Keldio, probably. It's gonna come down to my opponent having boss or not. He will definitely have energy. So it will come down to boss. That's a great card to draw. That is absolutely a great card to draw here. 
can go ahead and ice dance onto this nom. And now I'll go ahead and read. Well, I don't have to retreat yet, I guess. I'll just go ahead and Marty. From five to four, I don't know if he'll have it or not. I really don't know if he will have it or not. We're gonna GX. Deal 400 damage to that VMAX. Take three prizes and then if he has boss, he wins. If not, he has two turns because we lost our bosses and our elder gods in the process. You were stuck going attach pass. That's all I felt like. I'm sorry. My opponent playing Garb in his deck. Doesn't grab Crobat off of that quick ball though. Puts back the Travish. Fails it. So he must have Crobat, right? Green and Forests away the Hoopa. Okay, so that last heart that last card has to be Crobat. So we'll get six at six. Um, six cards of the Crobat, not a single boss utilized so far. So we fully expect to lose. What I should have done was retreat my Mewtwo. What I should have done was retreat my Mewtwo. Doesn't immediately slam it, so I'm hoping that's good. I'm hoping that's good news. Uh, of course, Bird Nitroid, of course I saw it. Of course, I saw it. Everyone saw it, right? <laughs> yep, and there's the research. Well, actually, now I've lost because there's a power plant in play, so I can't attack. <laughs> yeah, I can't attack. I can't attack against the um, power plant. I have no more stadiums left. My opponent had the perfect counter deck. To this, <laughs> even with the bad list containing Garbodor and whatnot, um, Power Plant and Black Market are definitely not standard stadiums in this, but they counter this moist Mewtwo deck. Jeez. Moist Mewtwo. Alright, so I would like to go first, yes. Terrible hand, for sure. Terrible hand, for sure. And we mulliganed, giving our opponent an even better hand. Now that's a good top deck, however. So let's make sure we grab Starmie and Blastoise, and then we'll just go ahead and Teddy Change. And that works. You're excited for a new league deck, variant toast. Yeah, I mean it's it's more stuff for the players, right? More accessible cards for newer players to start playing this game. So I don't think that will ever be a bad thing. Okay, well our hand really sucks still. <laughs> no Mewtwo inside, no Cherish Ball, no Quick Ball. So that energy attachment would have been great for a Mew3. So we could start applying pressure, but we do have energy switches, I guess. Bernard Droid, the ban for ADP was is something that a community of 10 people want. Like the ban for ADP is something that would have never happened. It might happen online because TPCI has nothing to do with the online events right now. And now we're up against Dragapult, what the heck? <laughs> but it's never going to happen in official terms. So if there's another player's cup, it will happen. Yeah, ADP will not be banned for the 2020-2021 official Pokemon season. It'll be banned in online tournaments because they're not official, right? But it was never, ever, ever going to happen in the official tournaments, ever. In a million years, you know? And it's just like, it's, 
it's been talked about a lot because people who are very popular in the community, wow, <laughs> mentioned it. But um, it was never, ever, ever going to happen. Okay, well, not only is this a bad matchup already, I just could Marty it into four water energies. <laughs> So, this keeps happening on my videos, unfortunately. I play these very mediocre decks, and on top of them being very mediocre, I get absolutely horrible hands so that I can't even show what the deck does. <laughs> or I face off against an Eternatus that plays Power Plant. <laughs> And there's a reason why these decks never do well. Yeah, they look fun, they look original, they're not good at all. Ever. Now we're up against probably Golisopod Aerodactyl. And which we used yet, like based on the deck box, right? Which we used yesterday. And we sucked with it because it's a mediocre deck. And I will put money right here, right now. Assuming that my opponent will have the most perfect draws and we will end up losing the match. <laughs> because that's what happens to me and my Gracias, Kuri Kuri. At least this is not the... Like, I would definitely never play this at a tournament, ever, in my life. Ever. One gives us a hello. All right. Yep, that confirms it. I mean, the deck box already said so, but that definitely confirms it. So I've stopped using these deck box sets and I'm only using exclusively Bulbasaur means I haven't made a video of the deck. Charmander means I am using that deck for a tournament and Squirtle means um, I've already done a video of that deck. Those, that's the three significance of the deck boxes that I'm using. Because now that the types were removed from the previous screen, um, like if you if you show me this, I immediately know what deck it is, or I can suspect, right? But if you have a a, a neutral deck box and you have a Jirachi start, I know some of the decks that I will not be facing off against, but not all of them. So. So I think that's actually something important to keep in mind if you want to have like, or if you want to give out the least amount of information to um, to an opponent. Yeah. So I'll get my mute to here. The research top deck was very nice. And no switching card for me. Nothing I can do about that. Uh, like, I wasn't getting a KO anyways this turn, so I think I'm just gonna pass. This is gonna be rough, though. <laughs> this is gonna be very rough to win. Especially, like, well, it depends, yeah? We'll be able to win if my opponent has some of those turns where he whiffs. Muchas gracias Kuri Kuri por la suerte. A ver qué tal nos va en el torneo de Pokex. A ver si ya nos puede ir bien en un torneo que no sea el Pog. Alright. 50 minutes. Round one started 10.08, so still a while to go. 
Round will end at 11, 10 central, so still have an hour to go. All right, doesn't seem like we're getting attacked here, which is good. My opponent already lost an energy, which is also good, and a boss. Um, discards a fossil, so he will establish another two Aerodactyls off of this Pokemon Research Lab. And we should be able to get a KO next turn. Should be able to get a KO next turn. The ideal plan for me is to use Mewtwo, then Keldeol and Mewtwo to get KOs, right? To force a an eight prize game, right? Let me see a six again. Hopefully my opponent doesn't play Mimikyu. If he plays Mimikyu, I'm just gonna immediately concede. Uh, Luna Lutre. Uh, my opponent didn't show up for my round one. That's why I'm playing this uh, this deck. My opponent did not show up for the first round. Okay, so I'm hoping to find. A switching card right just hoping to find a switching card I priced an air balloon and a switch so my chances of finding a switching card are not very high here so I'm gonna attach for turn here because then I might end up attacking with Keldeo this game or this turn and honestly I think I just research here I don't care too much about attacking my opponent's hand at this stage. Um, I do find energy switch, which is nice. Will allow me to attack with Mew3. Um, I'll go ahead and Cherish Ball for that. And then I will go ahead and Frostmoth. Onto the Keldeo. Both of them. And then I'll treat... Oh, I don't even get KO if I don't use the stadium. That really sucks. All right. We'll go energy switch. I definitely need to get a KO here, though. Like, 100%. So I'll grab the water. And then I'll ice dance the water. And I will hit with rocket splash for 120 damage. After this turn though, I'll be able to Sonic Edge to KO nothing, so never mind. <laughs> I'll be able, I will, I'll just have to continually find energy as well. Okay, so my opponent promoting Jirachi immediately is good news. That's for sure. That is good news. So yeah, the tournament is best of three, just like a regional. I won my first round. Because my opponent didn't show up. And we get more need. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. <laughs> Almost the same bad hand that I had before. What the heck, man? I got Marty last game into four waters. Now I got a snum and the three waters. And this always happens to me. <laughs> it really is amazing. It really is amazing how often this actually happens to me. Okay, so now I need to return all three energies in order to get a KO. Or I could GX KO. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this deck sucks, and I chose to make a video on it. That's the unfortunate part here. So I don't want to make my deck bigger. So I'm gonna have to GX KO the Aerodactyl. I'll go ahead and Ice Dance onto the Keldeo. Gosh, this deck is so bad. Well, actually, no. No, yeah, I should. Yeah, I have to Resolute Blade here. And then I lose my Mewtwo because my opponent will not whiff. And my price is terrible. And then I can't even get a return KO next turn. <laughs> so now I need to hope to top deck after I got Marnied into absolute crap. 
So our only hope is that my opponent whiffs energy plus switching card. That is our only, only hope here. That is our only, only hope here. There's a Marnie. Oh, please Marty me. Oh no, he already researched. Never mind. Ooh, passes. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay, so Kildo is less useful than I originally thought. So I'm just gonna attach here. And I'm gonna Sonic Edge. Or should I Rocket Splash to save an energy? Nah, I should just Sonic Edge, I feel. Oh, I can Spinning Attack. Wait, what Pokemon does Spinning Attack? Oh, Starmie does, nice. I guess we'll Spinning Attack. Yeah, Rocket Splash doesn't really afford me much advantages. Like, with this Turtle Hand, I don't want my deck to be bigger. I want my deck to be smaller. Okay, that's a good top deck, finally. That is a good top deck, finally. I put immediately promoting a Redactyl. Probably means, yeah, he, he has a triple. And yeah, it's gonna go down to him finding his last triple or Golisabot plus twin to beat me. So I would really need to Marnie my opponent this upcoming turn. I'm not sure I'll be able to. I just need to take knockouts, man. Okay, I won't need to bench the Crobat yet. That's good. All right, that is certainly good. We need to return three energy in order to get this KO. We'll go ahead, Rocket Splash, one, two, three, for 180. Then my opponent attacks me with Golisopod. <laughs> Why is he not promoting Golisopod? He must have a switching card then. Yeah, there's the other Golisopod. Yeah, we're 100% not winning. We are 100% not winning this one, I don't think. It's gonna come down to can my opponent get one last energy, and based on the humongous hand that he has, yeah. Now we absolutely cannot win. Well, actually, if I don't bench anything, he can't toolkit KO my mute view with what he has right now. Uh, you you put in one exclamation mark too many, Rala. <laughs> you put in one exclamation mark too many. Or imagine if my opponent doesn't attack here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's only 130 though. That is only 130. Okay, well, that's the second boss. I don't mind that at all. I actually don't mind that at all. Because now, like, at least my host list only plays two bosses and two great catchers. So, that's actually not bad at all. Now I need a bunch of energies. That's good. Well, not a bunch. I need three energies, right? Blaze Gaming, thank you so much for the follow. I only have two energy left, what the heck? All right, so I definitely need to thin here. I definitely need to thin. And then I'll research. I don't want to bench to the thin aim. I have no idea what that means, Blaze Gaming. FCF VV. I have absolutely no idea what that means. I hope it's not something that's disrespectful. I'll burn that because it's useless. I will play this. I have boss 
for next turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and rocket splash. One, two, three. Bernard Droid, thanks so much for the four bits. You recharged for the tournament, nice. Thank you so much. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, my opponent needs boss plus switching card if he's playing a third boss. Otherwise, there's nothing he can do to win this turn. And that's good news for us. There's a Stella Wish. Okay, I think we have one. Well, assuming we can find one more energy, right? To get the KO. Yay, we won. And see, this is what I mean, like, I don't know. Mediocre deck versus mediocre deck. Your salty beats mean nothing. <laughs> yeah, definitely not salty about this win. Alrighty, so, Mewtree Moth. It's interesting. It's not the best deck by any means. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some lunch whilst I wait for round two to begin. So um, for those of you who are watching, I'll be back in about 20 minutes or so.